What's up, YouTube? We're back with yet another video. Uh, today, we're talking about the GBD200. Specifically, we're going to discuss all the windows in operation, how, what they show you, what information is there. And let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. This is the first window you're greeted with when you open the watch and you start off your watch. This is your home time window, which shows you, er I mentioned earlier, but I'll repeat it just in case you didn't catch it. Uh, you have the home time here, which is the date, uh, the day, 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 day of the week, the seconds, and then you have the date window right on the top there. Notifications all around the indicators, and I talked about them earlier in the last video. Um, if you put the top, if you hit the A button, this is the A, B, C, D, and then the light button. If you hit the light, the A button in the top left corner, you'll switch between the different windows and menus visible on the display. So you start off with the home window. This is the first one you're greeted with. Like I said earlier, here's your time window. Push it the first time. Here you have your daily step count and goal. So you have your steps for the daily on a daily basis, as well as your goal for the uh, on a daily basis um, of how many steps you've taken. You push it again. Uh, by the way, while you're showing this information, you also have your date, the day, the time, the date, and the day visible on the bottom. Here's a dual screen kind of um, layout there, which is pretty neat because you know um, don't want to. Uh, you always want to have a time function on the watch. So even though you switch to this different mode, you are still um, able to see the time and date on the window, right? Next on the secondary window of the home menu, you have this monthly um, screen that gives you running information. You can see running distance and goals visible on this monthly screen. Now you can actually switch between what you what you see on here. You can see running distance and goals, and you can alternate between running distance and time ran. If you want to see that instead, you can alternate that by switching it on the app. Um, next on the next window, you have Back here, you have the world time function. You have the home time, which is your home time. You could set up a secondary time in case you travel or whatnot to show a secondary world time on this screen. Then you're back to your home time, and that's the first window. Hit the mode button again to go to the secondary window, and here you have a workout, also a timer mode. Now, this is kind of Interesting, it's a little complicated, but it's not too bad if you kind of get the gist of it. Um, here you can set up up to 20 different time intervals for a workout. So you could set up a window to um, maybe do four different intervals of like five minutes, or you want to do a first two minute, five minute jog, and then a two minute um, sit ups and five minutes and running around the house, whatever you want to do, you can set up four different up to 20 different time intervals um, so you could set up and do different workouts it's pretty neat you could uh, do it automatically if you want to like for example here's the run start it off first one's the five minute one once that finishes go to the second one um, you could set it up and I'll show you guys on the screen here uh, the different kind of options to set up the um, workouts and the timers so here's the actual app itself. You can see here they have the options to set up your timers, also known as the workout plans. Um, I'm connecting to it there, and you can see it. Um, you have different options here to set up multiple timers and a workout. So um, you can set up up to 20 different um, timers, each one comprised of different time for that specific workout. And on the top, it also shows you the total amount of time the workout would uh, uh, entail once you add up all the different timers. Um, and there's, you could do that repeated up to four times. You could do four workouts with 20 different repetitions or 20 different workouts, if you like, um, in that timer session. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, pretty functional. And um, this is how you set it up. Here, you can see I'm adjusting the length of time for each workout so you could um, uh, pretty much customize it as you see fit. And here I'm adjusting the number of times it's going to repeat. I'm going to change it from four repeats to actually repeating two times for this specific workout.
Once you're satisfied with the customization of your workout and the repeat number of repeated times, uh, you can send this directly to your watch and have that workout show up on your watch. All right, next one you have the stopwatch. It's a basic function. You can set up your stopwatch there. Um, start it off. Here it is counting up. Pause it, top right window, and reset it on the bottom right there. Okay, next mode. You have your activity, gives you total time, distance, and pace for your running. Okay. Next mode, you have your notifications. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. Um, I'll answer some of the questions that I think people will have in terms of notification. One, um, it's kind of functional. It works pretty well. It's um, relatively uh, fast when you get notifications. You can set it up to get chime and vibration on them you can disable those as well now the only drawback i think and something i think they should give you more control of control over is which notifications you actually receive if you actually activate and enable notifications you get phone calls text messages emails calendar event notifications and that's get them all there's no way to uh, not that i found there's no way to tell the uh, phone or the watch to say no i don't want to receive notifications from my emails i only want to get notifications of my text messages or phone calls or calendar events you can't disable one or the other it's an all or nothing kind of thing which is kind of i think with the um, in an age of technology that we're in they should give you more control over those notifications now in terms of them working they respond very well and they're pretty fast in um, getting notifications. And I'll show you pretty much here how it works. So you push the top right button here and you'll enter your list. You'll get up to 10 different notifications. Now, here's another thing where I think is kind of quirky. Um, they're all together. There's uh, emails, text messages, um, other notifications, all on the same window. There's no way to navigate between the different text message notifications or email notifications and separate those. They're all kind of intermingled in a um, order of, of, um, uh, of when you receive them. So here I have a um, email notification here. I'll enter it by pushing run. Here it goes. Uphold Bitcoin is on the move. Price is up and is down. You go forward or down on the window to see the rest of the email. 3.16% in the last nine hours to 44,000. <laughs> if you guys are Bitcoin or um, uh, investors, there's um, a notification for you guys. So uh, push back to return to your list of notifications and go down to scroll down to the next one. All right, here's another mail. Here, for example, is a mail from my NBC. Push it again, enter it. NBC, you can see the, the uh, headline, uh, NBC 5 Chicago news headline, Chicago hits 4 hundred new COVID cases, uh, Monday surpasses, blah, 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 health center, they're warm, whatever. Let's go back and there you have it. So there's your more emails. Um, I got more notification from my Arlo cameras. Enter that. I got motion detected in the front. Someone's here to visit me, which is pretty cool that you get that notification as well. Go back. All right, so there you guys have it. It's pretty cool, very intuitive. Um, once you get to know and learn the different operations, the how to navigate this uh, screen, like I said, there's only up to 10. Once you've received 10 and another one comes in, you'll lose the latest one. So you want to check this periodically or otherwise notification will disappear off your device, off your, off your um, watch. All right. And I'll show you guys, like I said, there's a way to enable notifications for, um, goals, for emails um and whatnot i'll show you guys how to operate that on the actual uh phone and how to set it up all right so here's the actual phone application where you can set up your uh settings here uh you can actually turn on your sound and vibration notifications so if you only want to vibrate or you only want to make a, a chime or something you could set that up to enable or disable one or the other now here's where you go to actually set up each individual notification sounds and both for the uh, vibration and the sound. You could enable um, notifications for just messages or enable for um, different kind of achievements or whatnot. However you see fit, you could change different settings there to make notifications um, to your watch, both uh, vibration and by sound. Okay. Once you got your notifications, go back and you're back to your home screen. And there you guys have it. Those are the uh, four windows and all the notifications and setups. Um, 
Auto light's pretty cool. I think that's a great function. Here's the button. Here's the light function on the watch itself. Um, if it's dark enough, if you tilt the watch towards your face, the auto, the light will automatically turn on. You could disable that if you like to, if you don't want to waste the battery, but I think it's very functional. Um, face it towards you and the light turns on. All right, I think it's nice little clean um, light on this actual watch. Um, but otherwise the watch does have a nice negative display, but the, the digits on the watch are like a kind of a chrome looking color, which is pretty neat and easy to legi legible. Nice size font um, with the exception of the messages here, notifications, very small to see that, you zoom in. Um, you might have 10 notifications, you'll never see that because if your eyes are weak like mine, you won't be able to see that number, the small digit within that bubble there. Um, so that's not very helpful. But nevertheless, if you have good eyes and you're younger, you'll uh, you can probably use, find that useful. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. The GBD um, 200 new series. Hopefully you enjoy this. And then stay tuned for more videos. I'm out of here. This is Chicago. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shot, 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 I'm rocking my G-